Are sunglasses the future of playing video games out in the real world? Well, let's talk about it. Mobile gaming has come a long way since the days of playing Snake on Nokia phones. Today, our smartphones and consoles like the Steam Deck offer a near PC desktop level gaming experience directly in the palm of our hands. But the one thing that's always missing from these mobile gaming experiences is a large immersive display. When you're used to playing on an ultra wide or a multi monitor setup, playing on a single tiny mobile screen can feel bad. And the solution to this problem, believe it or not, might just be a pair of sunglasses. These are the Enreal Air augmented reality glasses. Glasses. And they might just be one of the most unique mobile gaming accessories currently on the market. This graphic here shows the most common smartphone screen size of around 6 inches, which is pretty similar to the original Nintendo Switch's screen size of 6.2 inches, which is itself dwarfed by the Steam Deck's and OLED Switch's 7 inch displays. But now, if we keep zooming out, and zoom out a little further, we can finally see the massive 201 inch virtual display found within the Enreal Air. On paper, this might sound too good to be true, and so over the past month I've been testing the Enreal Air with a handful of gaming consoles, as well as in a variety of mobile gaming settings. And in this video today, I'll be sharing my personal experiences with the Enreal Air in each of those use cases. Plus, at the end of the video, I found a way to use these AR glasses to transform my real life into what feels like a video game, so stick around for that. But first, let's talk specs. For $379, the Enreal Air packs not one but two 1080p micro OLED displays into the frame of these glasses that projects a virtual display over top of the real world. Without being powered on, the Enreal Airs are designed to be just normal sunglasses, but when powered on, offer this futuristic AR experience. It is a bit hard to show off what this display actually looks like, so I'll do my best to capture capture the footage through a single lens with my camera. And I also might end up showing some screen recordings of the display as well. Just know that the glasses run at 60 hertz, which is super smooth to the eye, and when used in head tracking mode, that display will stay locked on to the center of your field of vision. I found this setting helpful when gaming in a bumpy car ride, which I'll get to in a little bit. But alternatively, you can actually lock the display in a particular direction, which was much more helpful when I needed to see my desk clearly right in front of me, but then I could simply look up to see my entire virtual display. Finally, the glasses have speakers built into each arm that offers cinematic surround sound directly into your ears. The physical frame itself weighs less than 80 grams, and there's a ton of micro adjustments you can make so that it fits your face properly. But how do all of these specs translate to the real world? Well, let's find out. I first tested the Enreal Air glasses with the Steam Deck, which was by far the easiest gaming console to just plug and play. The Airs came with this USB-C cable that plugs directly into the left arm of the glasses itself, and the other end directly into the Steam Deck. And that's it. That's all the setup needed for the Steam Deck to recognize the Airs as a display and to project the gameplay onto the AR screens. Honestly, I was surprised it was that simple. Given the cable plugs into the back of the glasses, it's pretty Pretty easy just to kind of throw it over your shoulder and honestly you kind of forget about it after a while. Now a few benefits of using the airs with the Steam Deck stood out to me right away. The first was not having to hold the console up to my face or having to lean over the console to get a good view of the screen. Instead I found myself just completely laying backwards and while the Steam Deck itself isn't a very heavy console, over time during a long gaming session that weight does add up. So being able to relax my arms ended up feeling pretty nice. Next I took the Steam Deck and air combo on the road, which is where the air's ability to keep the display locked in my center of vision became super important. You see normally on a car or in a plane when I'm using my handheld device, the shakiness of the screen will without fail give me a headache eventually. It's really only a matter of time. However, with the Enreal Air, because the screen is essentially tied directly to my head, I don't perceive the vehicle shakiness nearly as much, leading to a much less headache inducing experience. And because of that, this was one of my favorite use cases of testing out the Air. And that also means these glasses earned a spot in my travel tech bag for my next flight. Now, something else I noticed when testing the Steam Deck with the Air is that the glasses themselves don't have a dedicated power source, which means they effectively draw power from whatever they're plugged in. Into. That said, throughout this testing, I didn't notice a huge drop in battery life from the Steam Deck with the glasses plugged in. Other gaming consoles like the Switch, the Xbox, and the PlayStation do require a separate adapter to purchase for it to work properly. These Enreal adapters cost $59 and do have to be purchased separately. When I tested the glasses with the Switch, for example, the setup was still pretty seamless, but just a little less plug and play than with the Steam Deck. And now with the Enreal Air paired with our Switch, it's super nice to play Breath of the Wild on the equivalent of an iMac sized display, especially after being used to squinting around croc hunting on a 6.2 inch screen. Yeah, ha, ha, indeed. <laughs> now, during this gaming session, I noticed a clever design decision that actually makes the Enreal Air's display feel even brighter than it should be. I conducted most of these tests during a bright sunny day, and despite sunlight beaming in through my windows, the screen always looked bright. In fact, I even went outside to direct sunlight and the screen was still visible. Now of course, the 400 nits of brightness in the OLED displays helps, but there is something else going on here. And the super clever part is utilizing the natural tint from the sunglasses to further darken the surrounding backdrop of the screen. After all, you can't produce darkness digitally. The darkest part of a screen or a projector can only be as dark as the natural backdrop. So by leaning into this sunglass design, which also won a design award by 
by the way, Enreal is also effectively increasing the brightness of the Air's display. But Enreal actually took this another step further. If you still find the screen not bright enough, or if there are too many visual distractions going on in the real world around you, the Air's also come packaged with this cover that completely blocks out the light. Just gotta snap them over top of the front of the sunglasses and... Boom. Goodbye external distractions. Hello, private gaming space. When purely gaming, this is actually my preferred setup to have the shield over top of the glass. There's just something peaceful when the screen takes up like your entire vision. After using the glasses with the Nintendo Switch, it's time to test it out with my mobile phone. And similar with the Steam Deck, the Enreal Air is in fact plug and play directly with my USB-C phone. And again, I'm a big fan of that simple setup. Now Enreal has a dedicated mobile app called Nebula on the Play Store, which sort of serves as the operating system of using the glasses with your phone. In fact, in doing so, you can actually use your phone as a controller in AR space, which is pretty cool. But my preferred way to use the Enreal Air with my phone is actually to use it as a DeX display. If you follow this channel, then you know I've attempted multiple times to build a replica PC desktop style setup, all powered with a smartphone. And every time the thing that falls short is, well, the display. So safe to say the Enreal Air's 201 inch virtual display finally makes my dream of a desktop replica with a smartphone a reality. Now with the glasses, I honestly feel like I can create a PC desktop experience literally anywhere. It's pretty easy to carry around a smartphone, a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and now with these glasses, and now I can play these mobile games in a coffee shop or out on the deck or in the woods without having to make the sacrifices of just playing on the phone itself. I'm honestly pretty excited to see where this all goes. It's only gonna get better from here, you know? But okay, with those main tests out of the way, it's time to truly push the limits of these glasses. What other aspects of my life could be enhanced by AR? Well, to find out, I took them to the only obvious location, the rock climbing wall. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna see if these AR glasses can enhance my rock climbing experience. <laughs> there are apps for rock climbing gyms that show other people climbing the exact same routes that are on the wall. And so I'm going to wear these, watch someone else climb it while I'm also climbing it so I know exactly where to put my hands and feet. Will it make it any easier? Well, let's, uh, let's find out. Just gotta make sure we're clipped into the matrix. Plug it into my phone, pull up a video of someone doing the climb, and yeah, looks like we're all set. I just hope my phone doesn't fall out of my pocket. It's really fun watching someone else climb the same thing. Though it's kind of trippy because I'm in the same position that they are, but not from the perspective that they're being viewed. One last move. Oh, yeah, let's go. Not too bad, honestly. Kind of fun. My arm's getting tired. We gotta drop. True, it does give you perspective of the whole wall, which is pretty nice. Because yeah. normally when you're up on the wall, you can only see the rocks directly in line of sight. Because that was actually kind of cool. Yeah. Overall, these air glasses have been a pretty fun piece of tech to explore. And I think they truly shine as a mobile gaming accessory when paired with the Steam Deck or your smartphone. Big shout out to Enreal for sponsoring today's video, and you can check out the Enreal Airs on Amazon or in the link below. Thanks for watching, but now I gotta figure out even more ways that AR can benefit my life. So, catch in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.